Hey there, this is Fred from Clay Station. I'm doing the intro like this because I, it took me a while to set the camera up like this and I forgot to do the intro. So what we're gonna be doing is painting this really cool wood board. This is a new addition to Clay Station. Uh, we're adding a bunch of new vinyl stickers that you can add on to any of your wooden pieces that can be painted with acrylic paint and taken home same day. This is a really easy uh, process that can be painted in less than an hour. So uh, follow along as I paint this really cool wooden uh, live, love, craft because you have to live, love, and craft. And my back start hurt. Okay, intro done. Okay, so I've got this cool little uh, shadow box piece here. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna paint uh, this brown. I'm gonna kinda make it look like wood stain. Uh, so I've just got real simple. We just need some water, a brush here, and a little bit of paint. We really don't need a lot. Uh, what we're gonna do is get some water on your brush. And we're just gonna grab with the tip of our brush just a little bit of that paint. And you can see how I'm kind of like watering it down. A nice light brown, just like that. That's pretty much what I wanna work with right there. A nice light brown so that when I apply it, we're going with the wood grain, which is going up and down like this. You always wanna go with the wood grain. That's gonna help it soak in and keep you those nice texture. Now you can really see all that grain kind of starting to pop, starting to come out. And I also wanna do the edges. Do I wanna do the edges? I am deciding right now, I'm gonna paint those a solid dark color later. Okay, so what we're gonna be using is we're gonna be using this vinyl sticker right here to help get this really cool uh, design. We're gonna be putting this right on here, but I just used water to stain this, so it's gonna need to dry. So our next step is gonna be drying this piece. Okay, so now that's all dry. Um, this is good, so at this point, once you have your piece dry and your background done, you would say, hey, Mr. Fred, could you, you're so awesome, could you come help me out? And so you just ask a studio attendant, <laughs> you don't have to say it like that. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're just going to center this as best we can. Remember what Bob Ross always said, no mistakes when you're making art, only happy accidents. So if I put it on crooked, it's just a happy accident, right Bob? Now, right here at this point, if you wanted to, you could just leave the sticker on and say, hey, I'm done, that looks great. That's what I want it to look like. Um, that is definitely an option. I am actually gonna be showing you a different technique. I haven't done this in a while, but it's really fun to do. All right, so that should be good. We're gonna go ahead and spread it on. Um, again, I'm gonna go with the wood grain because I'm hoping to get kind of like that weathered look for this piece. So I feel like I kind of went a little heavy with this. So I'm actually gonna use like a kind of a damp, um, just paper towel here and uh, hopefully take up some extra stuff as well too. It's gonna give us that cool. Again, we're going for that weathered kind of look, but not too, ah, got it in the paint. Not too much. Okay, so now this is uh, totally dry. Um, we've got that really cool weathered look on here. Before I peel off uh, my stickers though, uh, what I'm gonna do is I, I'm gonna do some like solid black on the edge. Now most people would wanna use a brush like this, but I actually recommend with nice smooth wood like this, using one of our sponge brushes like this. So what you do is you just cover it all up. So now that paint is right on our brush here and you're just very gonna, lightly gonna just go right down here and it gets oopsie. As you can see, it gives us that nice solid layer like that. And we're gonna do that with all four sides. I actually really like that black look, so I'm gonna keep it going kind of on the edges here. And boom, I think that looks really cool. You know, I'm gonna even do a few streaks like this. Wasn't really planning it to look like it looking right now, but that. This looks cool, I think it looks nice. I like it a whole lot. Okay, from that point, we're just gonna use our little tool here to help us catch these stickers.
Okay, so for the very last step, you can see we've got this nice template laid out here. Um, you can either use one of our uh, paint pens or even like a Sharpie marker uh, to go ahead and fill those lines in. And boom, there we go. Now you can see, if we just zoom in a little bit closer, I can pull it up a little closer, like that, I did not do a perfect job on this. You can see like where the lines aren't, aren't super great, but this still looks really awesome. That, that, this method isn't gonna give you a perfect uh, detail, but it still looks super great and it's gonna give you that really nice, again, I went with that really cool vintage look and that'll look really great on the wall. So thanks for uh, painting along with us and stay tuned for the next one.